What's up, fellas? How you doing? It's your boy Al Sidarius. So Say hi. Uh, we just got back from the show. We've been there for two days, three days, basically, and we had a great time. Did you have a good time at the show? Yes. Yes, good. Um, anyway, I just wanted to uh, come back and do an end of show report. And with the end of show report, that's basically going to uh, show you guys uh, everything that I've received. Talk about the videos that are soon to come or have already come. I don't know how I'm going to edit the videos yet. I just wanted to say, you know, this is what I've gotten and look forward to all the videos coming up next. Um, some good stuff, some bad stuff, some fun stuff, everything. Um, we had a great time. Uh, it's Christmas every year and this is it right here. It's a three day weekend. Uh, it's Christmas time for me. But anyway, let me tell you about the show. The show is off the hook. Uh, from the numbers that I get, that I got, it's a little over or under 20,000 people this year when there's usually 24 to 25,000. All in all, it was a good, great show. A lot of things that were there, a lot of people. I met a ton of you guys, so I had a really great time. It was a pleasure meeting each and every one of you. Thanks for coming up to me. I spent hours upon hours uh, meeting and greeting bad people, which is off the hook. I always loved it. That's the best part of the show. Plus, watching Adarius and Gabriella play with everything, he had a blast. That was crazy. Okay, so I just tallied up my total spending for the weekend, and uh, not including food, the hotel, and other little expenses, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as what I took home with the items that I have here, the total is uh, five hundred and eighty-three dollars. You know, give or take twenty bucks if I forgot whatever purchases or whatever. So, five eighty to six hundred bucks is my uh, total spending. And um, when I look down at it, as I look down at this right now, I'm kind of in shock because like I don't see five hundred and eighty-five dollars there. Looks like something I will look at and see that cost about. A hundred dollars, maybe, for real. But let's take a look at everything I have here. Check it out. So as you can see, I bought four rail fading DVDs. It's right there. You're going to be shocked by this. Uh, really shocked. I bought dry transfer decals. Graffiti. But I bought these for the back of the buildings and stuff like that. On the uh, brick and stuff, I bought all these type of ones. I don't plan on using these on any cars. It was for basically for buildings. Just so I could try transfer them over without pulling the building up. So that's, that's, that was the reason for this purchase. I bought something that's very important in HO scale that everyone needs. HO license plates and uh, from all various different states. And then I got something really cool here, which I really, really, really wanted. I actually went, actually went by, you'll, you'll see in the videos later on, I went by a Walther's table and they had this kit right there. And I thought, oh my God, that is off the hook. It just looked so hot. It's the Hobby Shop from Walther's. Here's something that's very cool. I had a whole bunch of these before and I had to buy more. I should have bought two of these, but 17 bucks. When you round it, when you uh, do the math though, it's only 17 cents a piece for 100 of them. And uh, this is pretty hot. These right here, 16.50. Got this from the guy who, who makes all these. And what it is is just LEDs with uh, resistors in them already. I just didn't feel like doing them because that goes with the Tsunami that I bought for seven to seven eighty one thousand seven ten. This is gonna be for a uh, SD80, SD90 Mac. Of course, with that, you know I have to get my TCS Keep Alive. These are KA2, so these are 15 second lives, and these are gonna go installed into uh, various engines and stuff like that. California Gold, six millimeter tufts, and it's just that right there, and I place these randomly around the layout. It's mad expensive though, it's really not cheap. I got this from Yankee Dabbler. Uh, Yankee Dabbler had a lot of great stuff. These are on sale for the sale price there for 30 bucks. I am redoing a whole bunch of track, removing Atlas and putting in Picos, and I bought all these for 18 bucks a pop. Um, the large turnouts. I needed some more fire hydrants. I wanted to change out all my fire hydrants to some really nice ones, really realistic looking ones. And uh, these are them. These are them. The dog won't go, but these will. Price, $6.50. I was looking at one of the rail fanning videos and I seen they had these um, these fuel chemical tanks in the yards. So I thought, man, these are hot. I got to get them. So I got three. I got this for the yard as well. It's a control building that will go in the yard. Oh, I just got this for a building right here. It's overhead doors. Uh, another 
uh, Porta Body, AK Interactive Streaking Grind. I heard a lot of great things about these, so I'm gonna give them a try. Of course, I got my favorite, my weather and powders. I needed some more fresh, um, fresh rust. And this is dark rust, and of course, grimy black. And these are no longer cheap. I've been telling you guys about these for a long time. They are six bucks a pop. Used to be four fifty, but they rob us. Ballast. I'm changing out all my ballast. I love this stuff. This is the real rock stuff from uh, Scenic Express, I think. Yes. And it's uh, for the for the size for HO. You want forty, number forty, or number fifty, and twelve bucks. And then of course I got these really, really, really hot cars. Um, I got this one right here is just because I want to tag it up from a picture that I have and these really cool um, Arctic cars and they are um, obviously by Walters and they're cryogenic and they're 70 foot cars which they, they'll go really really nicely with the 64 foot Trinity uh, reefers which reminds me which reminds me, I said I spent $583 plus $26.90, so that brings it up to like $610 because I forgot about the, counting this. Bought another one of these uh, BLMA refers, so I spent like $610. That would be my total purchase of everything here, and uh, let me tell you about the show and about the prices next. Okay, so you just saw everything that uh, I purchased. I had a great time. I brought uh, almost $1,000 cash with me, and I spent about oh, 610 plus the hotel and food that's probably another couple hundred bucks at least um let me tell you a little about a little bit about the show uh obviously you'll see that the athlete announcement was a gp50 i'll have that video up soon i guessed it what it was basically going to be i just knew it and i said it and boom that's what it was um i was waiting for the st 70 m with flared radiators uh, i didn't get that so of course i'm not too too happy uh there weren't any great outstanding prices except from Tom's Trains. You buy almost everything from Tom's Trains. He's probably the best around when it comes to prices at the train show. He probably sells, outsells everyone from manufacturers to everyone he outsells, I'm sure. Uh, he probably has the best overall prices on everything. AA Hobbies is always great. He's had a ton of people there as well. Those prices are generally always good. You can go to the hobby shops, which actually Tom's Trains is in Connecticut. And AA Hobbies in Rhode Island. Uh, some people had stuff that was way above list. I always laugh at this. Let's talk about this because I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna leave this in, and you guys know what I'm talking about. How about the people who had the same Cato locomotives from 2003? They have the same ones still because they're trying to sell them for so much money, and they put the list price of that same Cato of the price today. So if the list price is 185, they have list price 185. A show price 135 <laughs> I'm like yo they're bugged out it's crazy and they're the ones without anything done in a real old I seen a lot of that going on there basically people's old stock trying to compare new prices to them that's outrageous uh, there was a whole bunch of hobby shops that did all that stuff you know when you're like you know you can buy that same engine anywhere for like less than 100 bucks but they're selling it at a show price for 136 I seen a lot of that Overall, the show is just as great as it is every year. Uh, you just see a ton of manufacturers there showing off stuff. There wasn't too much that was brought out for new things. Obviously, everyone knows about the Athern, but there wasn't too much new things coming out. I didn't see anything spectacular. So, that's the end of my show report. Um, that's a post-show report. And now you get to go ahead and watch all the videos coming up after this, alright? So, I'll see you guys in the rebound. Peace out.